You've written that the concept uh, that the concept of God is morally evil. Why? I didn't say it's morally didn't? evil. Oh. Not in those words. I said it's false. False. I said it's a fantasy. It doesn't mm -hmm. exist. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say religion can be very dangerous psycho-epistemologically mm -hmm. in regard to the working of a man's mind. Faith is dangerous because uh, a man who permits himself to exempt some aspect of reality from reason and to believe in a God even though he knows he has no reason to believe in a God, there is no evidence of a God's existence, that is the danger psychologically that man is not going to be rational mm -hmm. or will have a terrible conflict. Religion. It's wrong in that way. Mm -hmm. However, uh, let me say I certainly recognize anyone's right to have any religion they want to. Mm -hmm. Their legal right, Moral, morally or philosophically, that's a different issue. For many people, religion is a, a way of explaining the mysteries of life, the unknown things. Do you recognize no mysteries? I don't believe that a, a lack of knowledge is a license to start inventing fantasies. Mm -hmm. Man certainly is not om omniscient, and I believe he should stay within that which he knows, act on his knowledge, and constantly try to expand his knowledge. It's not necessary to be omniscient. Mm. I don't think there are mysteries. It's a wrong term. There are a great many things which man doesn't know. And that's what the progress of science's knowledge is for, to learn more and more, but not to invent mm. explanation for what you do not know. Ms. Rand, you're an atheist. Were you always an atheist? Did you, or did you grow up with religious training at all? Or? No, I had practically no religious training. Uh, my parents were formerly had a religion, but fortunately didn't impose it on me in any serious way. Mm -hmm. And I was about 13 when I decided I'm an atheist, and that was that. Was there anything that brought you to this? No, mm -hmm. just simply thinking on the subject. Mm -hmm. And my main reason was that it is wrong to believe anything for which there is no evidence. And also the fact that I resent religious morality, which tells man that he's an inferior being. He's and not. He is not. As far as he knows, he's the highest creation in civilization, or the highest being. And the idea of accepting on faith some ineffable being who is superior to you in every way, even though you cannot aspire to that perfection. That is just a formula for psychological inferiority complex, mm. for self-abasement, and I saw no reason for men to accept it. That's as early as 13. Yes. I still think so, but I know it much more clearly now.